what is up YouTube, we are back on the Madden 17. Today, I'm gonna try to help you guys get better, drop off some of those classic burger tips, and we're gonna be talking about scoring in the red zone, man. For this video, gonna be using the Rams book, but honestly, it's no special secret magic place. It's really more so just principles. So, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing, how we're gonna do it, and yeah, let's do it. Now first up, I mentioned this in today's video, man. Spot shake, don't sleep on this play. It didn't really work in the video when I did it. You see it has a 59% success rate, but guys, I promise you, so good, very good play. Now guys, right here, pretty much all you have to do is wait on circle, and circle's always open, yo. It's, it's just that simple. Now, against the computer, it might not be the best look, you know? Right there, the pressure came through. That couldn't get rid of the ball, but against the computer, it might not give you the best look on how nasty this play is. But against users, the user always bites on that little stop, that little hesitation he does. The user bites down on that, and it's pretty much automatic, dude. Against the computer, gets man, you can see eating that stuff alive. I'll, sh I'll show you zone real quick. Do one more man look, and I'm not blocking the running back either. If you need more time, block a running back. Be great. I'm telling you guys, that is money. Instead of man D, we're gonna do random play type this time. And once again, I'm not really even gonna do any hot routes, dude. It's just gonna just gonna go at circle. That circle against zone. You see how the linebacker sat down there in the middle, kinda jumped down on him when he stopped. There's the pressure. Shoot the flats right there. That was a blitz. If they're sending the overload blitz, just gotta get rid of it. But if you got time, this stuff, this stuff is hard to stop, and it's an easy pickup of a couple yards. And when, when you're in the red zone, tight to that goal line, you need a couple yards. T to me, this is easily a go-to play. Now, next up, this one is really more so dependent on your personnel. If you got a beastly receiver like a Des Bryant, man, if you get man coverage on the outside, all you gotta do, triangle, square, flick that right stick up, get that fade route, and just lob it up, man. To me. Fade routes have a pretty good success rate. The animation, it's ugly, it's terrible. It doesn't look how fade routes look in the NFL at all, but I think it's pretty consistent if you're in man. Just tap square, lob it up, pretty simple to do, man. Now guys, to me, I feel like if you hold the D-pad down and just lob it to square, you're gonna always get this funky animation where the receiver has the best position. It's almost like the game instantly boxes out the corner when you do this like that, boom. You know, Dez right now isn't holding on to it. Insert Dez, drop the jokes, but you see the position the receiver is in is just great for catching the ball right there. The CPU just blatantly jumped that. Then another thing I like about the Fayard is sometimes guys see that ball floating in the air, they get excited, try to use it, and it's pretty hard to use the fade routes. Right there, we just messed them. Dak, the rookie, overthrowing them. But you're in the red zone. I definitely work in the fade route a few times, a few throws. That's it, catching it. It's making me look kind of stupid. But once again, in the red zone, I definitely work in the fade route. I chose to go against the freaking, freaking Broncos because they have one of the best defenses and two of the best corners in the league. But yeah, this is kind of backfiring, kind of making me look stupid. One more fade to Daz. And boom, that's all we got, yo. That was like 50% success rate. Now lastly, running in the red zone. Stretch, always a good play. Everybody is running the heck out of stretch this year because it's just that damn good. But let's say you need something else to mix things up. We're gonna throw some different run plays at your opponent. Right now, last play of stretch. We're gonna mix things up and throw some different plays at him. Now for me, the key to running in the red zone is keeping your opponent on his toes. So if you're gonna run stretch by the off-form tight, I think you should run the rest of your plays out of off-form tight. That way they can't really guess and gauge what kind of run you're doing based out of your run formation. Now, off form type, for example, you can do this with any formation, by the way. Has stretch plays, misdirection, power O, iso, blast, anything and everything you want. So, for example, if they're expecting the stretch play, mix things up, burn the fullback fake, halfback toss. This could be a very effective play when your opponent isn't expecting it. You guys will see me run that a lot. Now, just, just running it randomly against the CPU isn't going to be anything too crazy. But when guys are leaning one way, shifting one way, and just playing one side of the field, to me, it's a very effective good play. As a matter of fact, the fullback fake toss play is like my go-to play on like 4th and 2, 4th and 1, 3rd and 1. When everybody's pitching down on that line of scrimmage, fullback fake toss pretty freaking money. Now next up, halfback blast. Now blast, I think, is another good play for shutdown yardage. And sometimes you can run blast inside zone, but it's honestly just attacking a different gap. Outside zone or stretch, a lot of people like to attack the outside of the defense. I like to mix things up, take it up the gut, and you know, see what can happen. Scoring in the red zone, more so than any other part of the field, to me, is an intense chess match, you know? And in chess, you gotta keep your opponent guessing, you gotta keep them honest, and to me, that's what scoring 
in the red zone is, is all about. And one thing about all the plays that I showed you, except for, for maybe that first little tight offset play that is just, I don't know, very good to me, is you can pretty much do these out of any and every formation in the game. And, and let's say you don't have that tight offset crazy stop and go route. There, there are other zig routes across the middle of the field that are honestly just as effective and attack users very, very well. That tight offset route is by far the best to the game at attack of the user across the middle, in my opinion. But once again, guys, a lot of this stuff is just, it's just principles. I'm giving you OT Bird principles, pillars of success in the red zone. So hopefully, if you've been struggling scoring in the red zone, I helped you out a little bit. Hopefully, if you've been in OT, struggling to clutch it out, I've helped you out a little bit. I wish I could bring you some defensive tips, but my defense is ass. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. If you got any fire defensive tips, leave them down below. And if they work, I'll definitely pass them on to the viewers, man. But yo, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.